Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm doing pretty much my summer favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in a while, so this is going to be all the stuff that I've used over the summer that I've really enjoyed. And let me know what you guys think. Definitely post down below if you have any comments or questions. So let me go ahead with my skincare stuff first. My first thing is a Bioderma CBMH20. I got this one in Spain and it's available on Amazon as well. So you guys should definitely check this out. It's basically a non-rinse uh, face wash. And I use this every night. In the morning I use like a normal face wash, but at night I use this to take off my makeup. And I apply it on cotton rounds like this one. And you basically just sort of like rub it across your face and take off all your makeup. And I really think this is the best non-rinse face wash I've ever used to take off makeup. It takes off even waterproof makeup. And it's just, it, it, there's no scent. And I'm really like opposed to things that have a strong scent. So this is like perfect for me. Um, however, because I use this every single day, I do run out of it really fast, and it is pretty pricey. I want to say it's like almost $30 per bottle, and it lasts me for maybe three months or so, um, so it is kind of expensive, but it's a really good product. And then, I was showing you guys my, uh, my hypoallergenic cotton rounds. This is the specific one that I really like. These ones are from Publix. I don't even know how I started getting it from Publix. I think I just, I must have been there one day and just grabbed it from there, but these are absolutely my favorite ones. On one side, it's smooth, and on the other side, it has the little perforations for exfoliation. But I just use the smooth side. I apply that on there and rub it off, and it takes about three of these uh, per day for me to take off my makeup. But I love these ones. And then I, because of the summer and it being like hotter and more humid and all of that here in Atlanta, I've been using, I switched back to my MAC oil control lotion. And I just love this. It's definitely not a ton of moisture. So for anybody who needs moisture, this is probably not your best bet. But I specifically started to use this because of the fact that my skin was getting really oily through my Neutrogena one. So this has been really good for me. It's been that perfect amount of moisture. But I know I'll have to switch back to my Neutrogena um, when it starts to become a little bit cooler. And then um, I did a video for you guys earlier on the Kiss Skincare Whitening Collagen Collagen Cream Mask before. And it was interesting because a lot of you guys have really negative things to say about this. And I am not really sure why it didn't work on different people. Like obviously different products work for different people. But I am obsessed with this. And I think that it is one of those products that the, the night that I use this, the, like the next day my skin looks exponentially better. It looks so smooth. It looks so just clean and clear. I don't even really want to wear makeup and I love that feeling of not having to depend on products to to look good so for me this is like a must-have and I absolutely love it I wore this yesterday and I feel like my skin looks so much better today um, then my favorite fragrance of the moment is my Prada uh, fragrance right here this is the infusion D iris I hope you guys can read that that's what it is this is probably like the one ounce bottle or no one um, this is the 1.7 ounce bottle and this was available at sephora this is about i want to say close to like 80 or 90 dollars and you guys i've talked a lot about how i'm really just averse to strong scents and because of that i like scents that are sort of powdery that are musky that are more masculine even for feminine uh smells and this is like the perfect one i've actually been using this on and off for a few years but i wasn't sure how much i loved it but I just recently bought it again and I, I love it. It's the perfect one if you guys are not into like really, really, really strong scents. It's not citrusy, it's not floral at all. Like I don't like things like that at all. It's a very clean scent, but it still smells like strong. But it's definitely not one of those scents that everyone is gonna be able to smell as you walk by. And I personally like that. Like the person has to come closer to you to be able to smell it. So I like this a lot. And then my La Mer Eye Balm Intense. I love this product. Love it. This one is not for dark circles. This one is only for um, puffiness, which I do get around my eyes. That's just, it's a hereditary thing for me. I don't know if I drink too little water or too much or what the issue is, but I've had puffy eyes for a long time now. And it's especially, I feel like my right eye, like right here, is always the worst area. And this one has not made it disappear, but it really helps. And Maybe it's the fact that I've been using this for going on two years now, so maybe my skin is getting a little bit more immune to this, but I, I love this product, and it's also very clean smelling. It's really, really clean smelling. It's by La Mer, and if you guys know anything about La Mer, they talk a lot about the, um, the miracle of breath and going to the ocean 
for um, products or I guess things from the ocean to help you which would be like algae and seaweed and stuff like that so it is a pretty natural product and I just love this. I think this really packs a punch. It is really expensive. It's close to $200. But this lasts me, like half of this is over, I would say. And this lasted me for six months. So I say I use about one of these per year. But I got my mom the concentrate, which, by the way, worked wonders on her dark circles. Like seriously wonders on her dark circles. But she was running, I don't know how much she was putting on, but she ran out of this like every four months or so. So hers was a little bit crazier. Maybe I just used a little of this. I don't know but amazing amazing under eye product for sure then sort of a random product but this is my Inglot um, cosmetic case and I want to show this to you guys because one I love that it's just simple and it's black it's got compartments in here if you really need to use it but I use this like religiously to travel and the size is so perfect because I've been able to put my palettes in it like this size palette plus all my normal makeup and have everything fit into just one of these and that's perfect because but there used to be a day where I would carry so much makeup and just so many like hair care products that it would just be the bulk of my suitcase it was always so heavy and somehow now I just fit everything in this one thing and it's it's perfect and it was also really affordable I think it was like eight or nine dollars from Inglot and Inglot is a much more affordable brand to begin with but this has been like something that I've been using for years now and I've never showed it to you guys but I just I really really like that product so you guys should check that out then as far as makeup is concerned I've been on the go all summer it has been a summer full of travel for me it's been a summer of just a lot going on to where I haven't had that much time to put on my makeup to think about it or even to really want to do it because there's been so much going on so I have chosen products for you guys that have really been my religious just easy makeup products and this is what they are so one I in the middle of June or so, I had to switch my foundation for the Makeup Forever uh, Matte Velvet Plus to the Kat Von D because that was making me really oily and I don't know why. Um, that has always been my Holy Grail foundation, but I switched it over to this one because I was really getting oily and this one really stopped that oil. However, this is a very thick foundation, so it's one of those things that I can wear for like a week and a half, two weeks, but then I get really sick of it because it's so much makeup. And then I try to switch back to something different and come back. It's going to be really hard to stick to this foundation all year round because it does feel like makeup but it does look beautiful on so um, I did switch into this one this is M62 this is probably the closest match to the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus color 65 that I always wear so you guys can give that a try if you are around my skin color this is a really good product from Kat Von D I think that's about 36 to 40 dollars and then recently in the last I would say three weeks or so I've been using the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer again I'm wearing this right now I've just been wearing this every day because one, I think that my skin has finally gotten better the last month. Before that, it was freaking out and it was breaking out so much and I don't know why. But it's finally gotten better and so I've wanted to use something that doesn't have, oh my hair, that doesn't have as much to it. That's just lighter coverage, something that I can breathe a little bit more in and this has been the perfect one for me. It is a bit darker for my skin than... I require but somehow I just love the way it looks and I love how it makes me feel like I'm not really wearing much um, while still giving me the coverage that I need so I've been using this a lot this is in the color uh, Cuba medium 3 then another foundation so since I have been traveling so much I told you guys the the foundation that I've been turning to when I'm traveling is the studio fix uh, powder by Mac this is in the color NC 42 so this is an interesting one because I love the way it looks on. It looks like you're not really wearing anything, but you are, and your skin looks really good. However, it can make you look really dry because, again, it is a powder product, and that's what powders do. They soak up your oils, and they look really dry in your skin. Um, as time goes on, your, your face will start to reproduce the natural oils, but I feel like because it's a powder product, it doesn't cover up pores very well. I do have larger pores around the side of my nose and on my nose that I like to cover up, and this I feel like almost accentuates them a little bit so you have to be kind of careful about how you apply it and it's not very good at oil control so those are the, the two things about this oh and also it photographs horribly so it, during the daytime it's fine but like flash photography is not <laughs> great with this so I would use this if you're going I don't know if you're gonna be outdoors all day you just want to look like you've got something on but not much you don't plan on really being photographs this is a good product for that but photography not cute I looked at some of my pictures wearing this and I would never publish them anywhere um, then besides that, my bronzer that I've been using religiously is an Ars Casino bronzer. Love it. 
It's my favorite. I've been using so much of this, and I know a lot of you guys have been emailing me telling me how much you guys love this. I know everybody is familiar with Laguna, but Casino is just as good. And then my favorite NARS blush right now that I have rediscovered, but I just love it, is the NARS Madly um, Blush. I don't know why I was showing you guys the back of it. It looks like nothing, which is the fun part about it, which is so many blushes these days I feel like really look like nothing, but let me swatch it and see if you guys can see things. Well, one, that's what it looks like on my finger right here. Yeah, it really doesn't look like anything in my hand either, but ooh, it is right there. So this is the perfect blush for people who have been like me all summer where you're not wearing nude um, lipsticks anymore. All you're wearing is color. So therefore you don't want like a bold eye, bold cheeks, and a bold lip. You kind of want to minimalize. And so this is great for people who are wearing those bold lip colors and want the cheeks to look natural. But for me, I'm one of those people that like, if I'm doing my lips and my eyes, you can't just not put anything on your cheeks. You have to put something there. And it shouldn't be something with so much color if you're doing a bold lip. So this has been the perfect one for that. This is one of those colors that I feel like takes to your skin and sort of will look like one or two shades darker than your skin without looking like you have much on. This is what I'm wearing right now. So I am wearing my bronzer right here, as you guys can tell. And then from here, I sort of like picked up the blush. So it sort of, it, it, to me, it looks really natural. It looks really great when I'm wearing a red lip also or something really bold without looking like I've added so much color. So it's great for those like in-between colors where it's not too peach, it's not too pink, it's nothing really, it's just something you have to put on. Um, so I really like that and I think blushes like that are essential if you are into wearing those bolder colors. Because you guys have convinced me and totally, totally made me not want to wear nudes again. And I know what you're going to say is what the color that I'm wearing right now is, not, is a nude, but it's actually not. I'm going to swatch it for you in a second and talk to you guys about that. But I've really converted to not being able to wear nudes. I remember I was in New York and I was wearing this black and nude dress and normally boring me would choose a a nude lipstick to go with it that's just natural to me it's just what I've always gone for but I put it on and I was like this is not working so I switched to a red and I'm thinking to myself how like I don't know why I wasn't wearing colors like that before and it just really completes the look so that that's become a big thing now so now I just I, I can't even like wear nude lips and feel normal anymore it's like strange um, also my NW35 Concealer Pro Long Wear by MAC, my holy grail, you guys know, I don't think I'm ever going to find a different concealer, this is the best, and if MAC ever discontinues it, which somehow every product that I really love, that company has discontinued it, I don't get, like, why, but this, I really hope never is. Then I've been using my Celestial Powder, um, called Candlelight by Kevin Aquan. it is the best ever, if you guys can see, like, how much of a punch does that pack, this is, like, so badass. I love it. It's natural. Like right now I'm sitting in front of my mirror and like on screen, like it looks like a lot. But when I'm sitting here in person and looking in the mirror, it looks like nothing. And it looks so natural. And this is amazing. It's ridiculously expensive for what the product is, but it's amazing. And if you guys want a high-end product that really does work and you're going to have it forever. I feel like powder products never get over. So I would personally invest in this. It's amazing. Then, I've, I have seriously just been obsessed with doing my eyebrows ever since I found the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is in dark brown. I cannot leave the house without using this. It looks like, I don't know if you guys can tell how much I've used it, but I really have. I literally feel like my makeup is not done without doing my eyebrows now. Like I, I'm one of those people now that I can skip my foundation, skip concealer, skip all of that. I just need mascara and this. And it is a absolute, like, an absolute must-have. You guys have got to try it out. It looks super complicated to use. It's really not. Once you get the hang of it, it's something that you will want to use day in and day out. It's incredible. And it really, really gives your face so much more shape and definition than you have ever imagined before. Trust me on this and try it out. Um, my last, well, my second last product is I haven't really been doing much to my eyes, but when I do, I've been using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And... So I work in a place where you can't really wear much makeup, and I've told you guys that before. So what I've been doing is that in the chocolate bar, if I want to do a really nude look that really looks like I'm not wearing anything, I go for this color right here. 
and then I'll just put that brown in the crease and call it a day and it's so natural because my eyelids are a little bit darker than the rest of my skin so by putting those two on it kind of neutralizes that and it's easy peasy done um, and on a different day where I want to like look like I'm wearing a little bit more I wear this gold and I don't know what it is about this gold you guys but it's really special like it looks so good in pictures it looks gorgeous on it's like the perfect perfect texture color everything like all of these colors in here are the perfect texture it's such like it's such a high quality product and I just love it like after using products like this it's really hard to go back and use like random stuff like it's just the quality it's really good and my last product is a fairly recent purchase which is the NARS Bahama velvet matte lip pencil I've talked to you guys before about my other velvet matte lip pencil which was Bettina um, this one, it looks like not a lot on, but it looks so good. Let me show you guys what this looks like. That's what it swatches. It swatches like sort of plummy, mauve and it is. And because of my two-tone lips, it just looks really natural, and I love it. And because it's, it's, um, it's matte, you would think that it's like really difficult to wear and uncomfortable, but it's velvet. So it still feels, it feels like a lip balm on, to be completely honest, and... It packs a punch. I feel like my pictures look amazing with this. I love the comfort of it. It's so natural, but it's not still nude. It still has color to it. And for people with bigger lips, you guys know that it's sort of difficult sometimes to wear things that are sparkly and glossy, even if the rest of the world is, because your lips like, look like they're popping out of your face. And I've been there. I've done that. I know that feeling. So sometimes wearing um, things that are matte just work better. And NARS, like this entire formula is great. I still have Bettina. I still love it. I don't know where it is, but um, I think that you guys should try out this whole range. This is another reason for why I just love NARS, but I am a huge fan of this product, and I think this is like the color that I think is perfect for Indian skin, and I've been passing this on to all of my friends, and they are just loving it. My mom was in my room a second ago when I was doing my makeup, and she immediately was like, what are you wearing on your lips? It looks so good. These are the types of colors you should wear every single day, so loving this, and that is it for my summer favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.